Now, this ain't a sports show, y'all. This ain't a show about sports. This is a show about real estate, right? Uh, but, you know, I, in addition to being a real estate investor, am also a sports fan, like I'm sure, you know, almost all of you are, right? And uh, freaking just nonstop, right? I'm seeing in my feed all this crap about Kyrie Irving, Kyrie Irving this, Kyrie Irving that, right? Like, you know, the story now, I guess, he wants to, to leave Brooklyn, uh, to go to L.A., right? So all the folks in Brooklyn uh, hate him, right? But before, uh, everybody in Brooklyn hated Kyrie, everybody in Boston hated Kyrie, and before everybody in Boston hated Kyrie, guess what? Everybody here in my neck of the woods, Cleveland, we hated Kyrie, okay? We hated Kyrie Irving uh, when he bolted on the Cavs back in the day, right? Uh, but something that probably a lot of you don't know about and I knew about this back then. Uh, I'm not sure why we never did a story about it back then, but just uh, I thought we should bring it up now because Kyrie's, you know, in my newsfeed. I was like, yeah, why don't I ever talk about that? Why don't I ever talk about the time that Kyrie Irving tried to fleece Clevelanders out of nine hundred forty-five thousand dollars when he sold his house? Why ain't anybody ever talk about that, folks? I think that's something important. Mr. Holier than now, Kyrie, basketball ain't, uh, you know, the biggest thing in his life. You know, he's got all his money, makes like, you know, what, 30, 40, 50, 60 million dollars a year. Why did he have to go through the effort to try to fleece $945,000 out of regular people living in Cleveland when he tried selling his house? Let's talk about it. <laughs> Welcome to the show, y'all. My name is James, and I am here to talk to you guys about real estate, answer your real estate-related questions, help y'all invest in real estate, and, you know, just kind of discuss stuff in the real estate business that I think uh, we should be talking about, right? And one of those things I thought we should talk about today was our boy, former Clevelander, because that's, that's where I'm from, folks. That's where Holton Wise TV is located, right? Cleveland, Ohio. Our boy, Kyrie Irvin. Trying to fleece Cleveland home buyers out of nine hundred forty-five thousand dollars. What's that dude's net worth? Like I don't even know, right? Like hundred million, two hundred million, three hundred million dollars, right? And he's got to go and try to fleece people out of nine hundred forty-five grand. Granted, these are not, uh, you know, uh, the working poor or anything like that, right? The people that uh, he targeted uh, for this fleece job. Uh, are fairly affluent, but they ain't people making twenty, thirty, forty million dollars a year, right? So here's the story, right? Kyrie Irving, he used to own this house uh, in the Cleveland area, right? Nice little affluent area, all right, called Westlake, Ohio. It's it's a very affluent area, very nice neighborhood. Uh, actually, he bought the house from Booby Gibson, right? Daniel Gibson. Y'all remember him? Shot the threes. He was kind of like LeBron's sidekick uh, back in the first iteration of the Cavs, right? So Kyrie Irving buys this house. From Booby, plays with the Cavs, and then y'all know what happened. Uh, he decided to leave, leave town. He didn't like LeBron anymore or whatnot. And uh, he decides he's going to sell his house for 1.69 million bucks. Like a, a million, 1.7 million, basically. It was like 6999, right? So Kyrie Irving goes to sell his house. And it's a nice house. I ain't saying it's not a nice house, right? Here's the home, okay? Nothing wrong with it. It's not a bad house. But you see, got the little basketball hoop in the living room there. You see, the issue is, while it's a nice house, it ain't no $1.7 million house, right? This isn't like a subdevelopment where all the houses sell between like five hundred dollars and $800,000, right? So it's like one of those cookie-cutter developments, like, you know, lot sizes are less than an acre, and, you know, there's a bunch of comps all around. So does the dude have a nice house to sell? Absolutely, right? You can see... Ain't nothing wrong with this house except for Kyrie's trying to fleece everybody, getting them to pay $1.7 freaking million dollars for this thing when everybody else in the neighborhood's paying less than half of that, right, for basically the same house. And it's not like he didn't know what he was doing was booty, right? It's not like he didn't know what he was doing was messed up, right? This is the house, right? 2431 Cornerstone Lane, Westlake, Ohio, right? You guys can look this up if you don't believe me, right? In 2014, Kyrie buys the house from Daniel Gibson for $800,000. So if you're like, well, Dad, an NBA player 
live there. It must be worth more money. Then why wasn't it worth more money when he bought it from Booby Gibson, right? Buys it from Booby Gibson for eight hundred grand in 2014. Then, because Kyrie, being the big egotistical jerk-off that he is, tries selling it when he leaves town for $1,699,000. $1.699,000. Right? And, uh, you know, because that's Kyrie, right? Kyrie thinks, duh, dude, I live there. It must be worth an extra 945 grand. So you could tell your friends you're living in the same house Kyrie Irving used to live in. Like, who gives a shit, bro? <laughs> uh, and the Cleveland market, uh, thankfully, thank you to the buyers of Cleveland, right? The upper echelon buyers of Cleveland, the uh, upper middle class to wealthy folks in Cleveland. And we're talking like a normal level of wealth, right? Like doctors, lawyers, business owners, things like that, right? We're not talking dudes making 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 million dollars a year, right? Kyrie's, they're talking uh, online now, Kyrie's trying to sign next year for something like 50, 60 million a year, right? Guy's got all that money. Why has he got to try to fleece people? Uh, people in Cleveland, they're like, yeah, bro, fuck off, Kyrie. We ain't paying, you know, $1.7 million for your house. Ended up selling it for less than he bought it from Booby Gibson, right? Guy buys it from Booby Gibson in 2014 when the market was uh, down, right? 2018 is when he finally sold it after uh, freaking jerking off on this $1.7 million price point. Sells it for $45,000 less than what he bought it for in a much better uh, market, right? $755,000, right? So Mr. Holier Than Now, Kyrie Irving. Tries to fleece, tried to pull a fast one, tried to get an extra $945,000 out of a house that was clearly worth this price right here or about what he paid for it, folks. What a doucher. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.